These little grooves at the bottom of your IKEA cups aren't just decorative. They have an actual purpose. They make washing the cups in the dishwasher much less messy. When placed upside down, water will flow through the grooves rather than gathering in the bottom and then spilling all over your feet when you take them out. The grooves also allow cool air to flow beneath the cup, which keeps them from cracking when they heat up from hot drinks. Surprisingly, the oldest glasses in the world weren't intended to improve your eyesight. The special snow goggles were invented by the Inuit people living in the Arctic to protect their eyes from sunlight reflected by snow, though they really looked more like a mask than a pair of glasses, with narrow slits for eyes cut into strips of bone or wood. Without them, they could have gone snowblind. It's believed that people need to go to bed at around 10 p.m. to get better quality sleep. But the denizens of Harvard have hung a nonsense sign on this idea. In fact, even night owls can perform well during the daytime, as long as they have regular sleeping hours. So if you go to bed at 3 a.m. and wake up at 10 a.m., that's fine, as long as you don't change your schedule. Sunscreen can create a pretty firm barrier against skin diseases, but that doesn't mean that sunshine is your number one enemy. Using too much sunscreen may deprive your body of vitamin D, which can open the door to such troublemakers as depression, fatigue, muscle cramps, and even broken bones. So try to get at least 10 minutes of canoodling with the sun every day, before sunscreen, to keep those problems out of your life. Need a reason to treat yourself to some flowers? They do make people happier. Confirmed. And not in a lovey-dovey way happier. But in a mathematically meaningful way, they reduce your stress and brighten your mood. Just like pets do, but without the poop. Marching on in the happiness parade. Do you know which country is the happiest in the world? And no, Disneyland doesn't count. Yeah, I didn't know either but chances are it's somewhere in Scandinavia. For instance, in Denmark, people work 37 hours a week and leave at around 4 p.m. They surely must have a lot more me time with a schedule like that. Compared to other countries, it scores more than 40 hours per week total. Where can I sign up for some of that? But in Finland, you can shift your workday three hours earlier or later. It's hard to be late for a job with that kind of flexibility. Who would have thunk it, but dog walking is a highly dangerous activity, and it's not even the cars or other dogs causing the risk. Turns out, if your dog is sniffing around too far ahead of you and pulling on the leash, it can injure your arms and shoulders. This is especially true for older dog lovers who are more at risk of getting hurt. Walk with your dog close to you on your left side instead and enjoy spending more quality time with your Barky as a bonus. Eyeliner was an invention of the ancient Egyptians, but it didn't make a modern comeback until the 1920s, thanks to the discovery of the tomb of Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun. People went brains on the wall crazy for anything Egyptian, including those funky circles around the eyes. Who would have guessed that a mummified dead king of Egypt would become a fashion icon literally thousands of years later? Even children know that animals who have rabies are dangerous. We can recognize them by their foaming at the mouth and because they go all on us. But there are more subtle signs that an animal may be rabid as well. For example, nocturnal critters, those who are mostly active at night, will be out during the day, or some wild animals will lose their fear of humans altogether. So don't fancy yourself a Disney princess when deer, foxes, raccoons, lemurs, giraffes, elephants, whales, whatever, approach you all of a sudden. You're still not Snow White, and they aren't feeling particularly well, you might say. Despite what you may have thought, the holes on the handles of your pots and pans aren't just for hanging them. These can also be used to hold spoons, ladles, and other kitchen-type things while cooking, to avoid getting all your utensils messy. Pretty handy little feature, huh? 
An apple a day helps keep the doctor away, especially if you throw it at him. But what about a plate of eggs or a cup of yogurt as your everyday breakfast? While it may sound boring, filling your tummy with the same thing each morning is actually a woohoo! You'll have more free time for both you and your brain to invest in more important things without the constant internal debate about what to chow down on. You might also shed a couple pounds and save a buck or two as a nice bonus. We all know what deodorant is for, correct? To chase away all those pesky mosquitoes. What? You were going to say something different. Why, I have never heard what you're talking about, Stinky. Deodorant makes for a great insect repellent. And even if you do get bit, it can help with the itching and swelling thanks to its aluminum salts. Walking is not rocket science, and you sure have been practicing it since you were about two. But when was the last time you paid attention to how you walk? Ask any high school gym teacher, and they'll tell you it's bad to push with the front leg. This puts way too much strain on your pelvis and lower back. Instead, push with your butt and your back leg. This will naturally propel you forward without the risk of back injury. Bananas are powerhouses of both healthy nutrients and tasty goodness. But don't strip off and throw away your banana's stringy things. They're called phloem bundles. Phloem, not phlegm, phloem. Let it phloem off your tongue. Anyway, their job is to move water and nutrients across the fruit, and they're also rich in fiber. So you actually want to eat them to maximize your banana experience. But just between you and me, monkeys don't like eating the stringy things either. Not many animals can pull off talking with us humans. Sir Crackers wants a tea cookie. God, he's picky. But parrots are a special breed. They can't pronounce words the same way that we do because they don't have vocal cords. So instead... They try to imitate the sounds they hear in their own way. Remember, two birds living together would rather talk to each other than to you. Try not to get jealous. Oh, and feed your wing buddy well. Parrots that just had a good meal are more likely to learn new tricks and words. I love orange juice. It's so refreshing and sweet, but I got so focused on the yummy juice, I ended up throwing all the peels in the trash. I know, for shame, because orange peels can really whiten up your pearly choppers. Turns out they are full of the same citric acid that is often added to whitening toothpastes. In the 14th century, they used barley corns to measure their feet. Three corns equaled one inch. Yes, as in the grain barley. Believe it or not, this is still the basis of shoe sizes in many English-speaking countries. Why? Because England. Keep this in mind next time you're trying to find a good pair of shoes. You wake up in the middle of the night only to realize your arm has gone numb and you can't move it. As it slowly comes back to life, it feels like many tiny needles are tingling on your skin. The proper scientific name for this is parathesia, better known as pins and needles. And it happens due to either pinching a nerve or blood vessel by falling asleep in an uncomfy position. So next time you're about to hit the hay, make sure your arms and legs are straight and aren't under any other body parts. Fatigue, nausea, weight gain, insomnia? Sounds an awful lot like pregnancy. But sometimes dads-to-be also get it along with mommy. This condition is very common and affects far more fathers than you would think. It has a fancy French name, but what doesn't? Couvade syndrome, and a markedly less fancy English name, sympathetic pregnancy. The lab coats are still arguing about why exactly this happens. Some say it's because of hormonal changes, yet others because of fatherhood stresses kicking in. Still others claim the guys are just too in tune with their darlings. Ah, talk about empathy and true love. Bad news for all the lovers of morning runs out there. Running can make you shorter. When you run, you lose some spinal fluid, causing it to compress some. You can shrink almost half an inch. But don't worry, it's not permanent and will reverse itself as the fluid replenishes. <laughs>